YouTubers, what is up? I told you I'm back. I'm so excited to be doing this stuff with you guys again. The comments on the last video, just unreal. So much positivity, and uh, it's really cool to see that YouTube has grown. I'm sure there's still places of you know insane amounts of negativity, but thank you for keeping it positive on my page. I really appreciate it, because it's kind of what I live for. So, all right, now this one is from my drum set warm-ups course, so if you end up liking this video, feel free to go to mikeslessons.com and download the drum set warm-ups course. A warm-up for me, is exactly that. I'm trying to warm up something specifically, not everything all at once. So this warm up is for two things. It's to warm up my foot on whatever pedal I'm playing on. Keep in mind, I fly to a lot of different countries and cities and I just get whatever I get. I don't travel with my own pedal. So I need to have an exercise that gets my foot used to the pedal. So that will happen in this exercise. And also I try to, you know, my drum set isn't always set up exactly the same. So this is also an accuracy exercise. All we're gonna do is play right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, right, left. That's all we're gonna do, but we're focusing on playing right in the sweet spot of the drum and keeping the, the distance between every single note with our hands and the two notes with our foot completely equal. All right, so let me show it to you nice and slow. Yes, I brought in a foot cam for you. Okay, now let's get to something that actually matters. There's some dynamics in there, right? So I've got this really big accent on the first note, and then I go around the drums fairly forte, and then when I come back to the snare, it's like this little crescendo, right? So you've got... And that's an important part of it too. I'm also working on my dynamics. All right, let's bring it up to 80 BPM. One, two, here we go, come on. thing that I really love about this exercise is anyone could do it, right? I mean, even a beginning drummer could do this as long as it's slow enough. And the cool thing is every professional drummer can work on it at a different speed and really caring about every single note and the placements and getting more obsessed with how great the drums sound when you're playing them. So these are those great exercises. If you're teaching drum lessons, these are the types of things that are awesome because you could give this to somebody on their first day of drum, well, let's not say the first day, but maybe on their first couple months of drumming and they could be working on it 20 years later, still trying to get better at it. I love stuff like that. All right, so goal tempo is 100 BPM. What, that's not that fast. That's 30 second notes. Dear Lord. Oh, shinnel, splintle, a little something, something for the kids, my God. But see what I'm saying? Like this, you could give this to somebody, do it at 40 BPM, and a beginner could totally do this and do it great. And then you could be playing your whole life like I have been, and you still are working on cleaning it up at that speed. So if you like this warm-up, there's a whole bunch more of this in a course called Drum Set Warm-Ups. The link is in the description below, so you can just check that out and uh, work on more targeted warm-ups for this. But most importantly, Enjoy this, really put some time into it, put some care into it if you're getting that sweet spot of the drum, and then hopefully do something a little extra with it to make it yours, and that's what makes me the happiest. And if you do something to make it yours, please tag me in the video and let me see what you've come up with. Everyone, have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.